Hello everyone, I'm Anna and I'm going to introduce you to the research I'm carrying out for my PhD here in Madrid at Instituto de Investigaciones Biomédicas Alberto Sols. Come with me! Every day, millions of cells in our bodies need to divide to grow and regenerate our tissues, and this happens through a very important process called mitosis. In mitosis, a cell divides into two identical daughters, so one cell, two cells. In the Cell Cycle and Cancer Biomarkers Lab, we are very interested in pololite kinase 1 or PLK1, an important protein in mitosis that is highly expressed in some cancers. And as you might think, if PLK1 is highly expressed in cancer patients, blocking or inhibiting PLK1 would be a good strategy to try to cure that cancer patients. There are already some drugs that can inhibit PLK1 and kill cancer cells. But with like many other treatments, patients can develop resistance to them. If patients develop resistance, they cannot respond to treatment, and that's why studying molecular mechanisms of resistance to these drugs has a clinical relevance. In our lab, one of the things we are interested in studying is resistance mechanisms to this type of drugs, and the way we are doing it is with CRISPR-Cas9 screen. Although the name may sound very fancy, CRISPR-Cas9 is just a technique that allows us cutting DNA fragments inside our cells. In CRISPR-Cas9 screens, what we do is just having millions of cells and with the molecular scissors, we just cut one different gene in each cell. So we will have a pool of cells with many cells having a lack of a gene. All of them express PLK1 and the fun comes now because then we can add the PLK1 inhibitor. Since we have taken out a different gene in each of the cells in our screening, it's possible that a cell that is lacking a gene survives. And if that happens, it's because that gene that has been taken out is important for drug sensitivity in our cancer cells.